morning. Scientists behind the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine say it should still protect against the worst potential consequences of COVID after a study suggested that it had a limited effect against the South African variant of the disease. Around 100 cases of that variant have been identified in the UK. The study involving a trial of 2,000 people has not yet been reviewed by other experts. Our medical editor Fergus Walsh reports now on the latest research and the ongoing effort to combat emerging and future strains of the coronavirus. Snow and ice did not stop the vaccination drive in Ipswich today. There is now a road, albeit a difficult one, out of the pandemic. But there's concern that current vaccines being used at thousands of centres across the UK might eventually lose some of their potency as coronavirus evolves. The Oxford AstraZeneca jab works well against the Kent variant, first seen in September and now dominant in the UK. But a small study of 2,000 young adults in South Africa suggests it gives minimal protection against mild and moderate disease caused by the variant there. Even so, scientists in Oxford are confident it would still prevent serious COVID disease. Maybe we won't be reducing the number of cases as, as much, but we still won't be seeing the, the deaths, the hospitalizations and the severe disease. And that's really important for healthcare systems, even if we are having mild and asymptomatic infections, to prevent people from going to hospital with COVID would have a major effect. Coronavirus is constantly mutating. Most changes aren't a worry. Vaccines use the gene from the spike protein to train the immune system. So if this code mutates, as it has in the variants from South Africa, Brazil and Kent, it may make the virus less visible to antibodies. Thankfully, T cells, another part of our immune system, look like they can spot infection, meaning existing vaccines should protect against severe disease. More than 100 cases of the South Africa variant have been found in the UK, and house to house testing in affected areas is underway in a bid to suppress its spread. But it's inevitable more variants will emerge. The Oxford team are creating prototype vaccines against several variants and say they'll be ready, if needed, by the autumn. Coronavirus immunisation may become an annual event. We see very much a probably an annual or a booster in the autumn and then an annual in the way we do with uh, flu vaccinations, where you look at what variant of virus is spreading around the world, you rapidly produce a variant of vaccine and then begin to vaccinate and protect the nation. The more coronavirus mutates, the less likely it is transmission can be stopped. It means COVID will probably be a permanent threat, but like other diseases, mostly preventable by vaccination. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Well, the latest government figures show that there were 15,845 new coronavirus infections recorded in the latest 24-hour period. That means an average of 18,358 new cases per day in the last week. Another 373 deaths were reported. That's people who died within 28 days of a positive COVID-19 test. Numbers do tend to be lower at the weekend. On average, in the past week, 901 deaths were announced every day. The total number of UK deaths is now 112,465. The latest on the vaccination programme is that just under 550,000 people had a first dose of one of the three approved COVID-19 vaccines in the latest 24-hour period. And that takes the overall number of people who've had their first jab to just over 12 million. Well, more now from Fergus, who's with me here in the studio. We've had another big number on the vaccination side of things, Fergus. But how concerned should we be about this study into the South African variant and the Oxford vaccine? Well, Michelle, new variants of coronavirus are going to emerge all the time. It's what viruses do. But coronavirus actually mutates much more slowly, say, than seasonal flu. And it's unclear how often we are going to need a booster dose. It could be Annually, it could be every two years or even longer. It's simply too early to tell. But it's straightforward to tweak 
these vaccines, it would only need small clinical trials. The current vaccines, Pfizer and AstraZeneca, both work really well against the predominant strains here, especially after two doses. Now, against the South African variant and maybe the Brazilian one, they may be less likely to stop mild and asymptomatic disease, which is less good news for slowing the spread. But the bottom line is, vaccines are the best protection we have. So if you get your invite, go for it. The rollout has been a big success. 12 million people have had their first dose, half a million their second. Fergus, thank you very much. Fergus Walsh, our medical editor.